here for? Well, I think we it just... takes a really strong person to not respond. I think the more you get it, especially someone like me, I'm a double minority. I people when when I get put on the cover of a magazine, people are like, he is representing blackness. He is representing queerness. And so you're holding a flag that you might not have asked for, but you're you're representing something so much bigger than you. And those people who have been disenfranchised and they've been like put in a box and put on the sidelines and not treated well are very, very protective of who is going to get that honor of representing them. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you're just like, this is a gig that I got because this is what I have to do to survive and live. I'm not saying that my experience represents everyone who's black or represents everyone who's queer or represents anybody who's an artist. I'm just representing Todrick, you know? Mm -hmm. And it takes a while for you to get to that point where you have to, where I, at least for me, I still struggle with it. Sometimes, you know, it, some weeks I'll be like, I'm fine, who cares, whatever. And then right. some weeks I'm like, I just wish I could explain to the world yeah. or whatever. But, um, but I think you just take it as it comes, and it. But it is really, really difficult. Yes, you have to get a thicker skin. I'm realizing that too with people and their opinions and comments, negative comments online. Mm -hmm. and I have noticed that. I have noticed that when I address someone and say, "Can I talk to you?" They're like, "You're human." And then whenever you speak to them, they're like, "Almost never." I mean, no one ever says these things to my face. Mm -hmm. And almost every single time, I have turned like some of my closest friends that I hang out with now were once enemies and they come over and hang out. We just had a friend the other day uh, come over to the house and she's this like gorgeous trans girl, but she is like, I did not like you. And I was one of the main people that was anti Todrick. And now Whoa. I will like cut a bitch over you because <laughs> she understands now. So I like that because it, um, the transformation that's yeah. magic. that's that's dreams coming true to me i mean wow to really change somebody's perspective and become friends after being enemies is yeah. amazing yeah who would you want to work with besides me of course um the most well i would actually like to work with you and i'm putting that out there into the universe yes that's gonna i know something you know no she does oh my god i just called a call from broadway they want me too <laughs> they want us <laughs> they want both of us <laughs> starring headlining both of us <laughs> hall and vanderpool one night only yes. in switzerland I would pay. oh my I gosh would pay. i, just I would fly was... to switzerland for when that. you fly for your concert do you fly private? No, I fly like just regular, not even like business or first. I just fly in the back in of the, the plane. Car you you went in, oh, in, in the cargo? cargo? In the cargo, I'll fly <laughs> the underneath back? the plane. Okay, yes. but he has some very fancy luggage though. Let's Do talk you? Yes. What, like Louis Vuitton? No. What are you talking about? Oh, I've seen you with the Louis Vuitton online. I have, I have. You I don't, don't take those with you. I don't take that with me. Okay, no, it's stay. more just so I collect those things for show because I think they're beautiful. I, I can't believe yeah. you're wearing a Von Dutch hat. Why? <gasps> well, first of all, did you see that documentary? Back. No. Uh, well, is what? he bad? <laughs> is, is he canceled? Oh, no, 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 no. no. Uh, oh, you can't get, what, what, what do you say? You can't get canceled if you stay. If you, you stay canceled, you can't get canceled. <laughs> no, can't were, get Todd canceled. Todd said that today. I thought it was so genius. You have to do a whole podcast on that or something. I love that. I know. I love that's a good saying. Wait, I have to watch this. What is it? A documentary about Von Dutch? I think it's called like Von Dutch or something. It's a documentary on Netflix about the whole how that happened, like how big that got and how I think it was. I bad. don't want to miss say No, 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 it's fine. Something, we don't know. It's it's yeah, I don't know. I'm going to no watch it because, yeah, the information might come out as like Shoshana Bush or Cecilia, so I'm not sure. <laughs> what did I see? Cecile? Cecily. 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 I said Cecile. I'm like, <laughs> Whoopi, okay, is it Whoopi you're Goldberg? Drink your yes. Tequila as well. <laughs> mm. Okay, so what character this is my favorite would day you want to do? Oh, he likes us. Oh, well, what else is he going to say? This is the worst day of my life? No, no, no. no, no we just I, would, I would be the guy to say that. <laughs> if it was, but I've been so excited about this all day. Oh, my God, you're so sweet. And I'm going to do every favor that Christy asked me to do because no, one day I want her to gift her bell dress to me. And I'm oh, just going to keep saying right. that. Oh, shit, that's right. He really wants my Why bell dress. Why is he going to be so close to you? You just love I love. I love everything, Disney. Yeah. I really honestly do. Oh, why? What, what Wait, so would you, would you play the beast? Who brought Disney to Yes. Oh, he'd be a really great beast. Yeah, I could sing If I Can't Love Her. I would do that. No. You'd be amazing. No, I would what love that. You to Disney? What family member? Oh, I just loved it from since, since I was a child. I, I just I grew up loving it, and I always wanted to go to Disney World, and I would always see the magazines and watch Disney Channel back when you had to pay for Disney Channel. Mm -hmm. I had it mm -hmm. when the Torkelsons was on there and Dumbo Circus. I used to watch Disney Channel nonstop when I was growing up. Then people always used to say I looked like famous Jet Jackson. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we tell you. Yeah. Rest in peace, um, my baby. Do but, you read music? I, I do read music when I'm in shows and I know how to read music, but I'm not great at it. Me neither. We but don't you know write. How. You write all this beautiful music. Yeah, right? that's true. Yeah. I think it's so interesting. It comes from my soul. Yes. Yeah, so I think if I it. did know how to read music, I would probably be not as great a writer. Because it's do so you technically write the lyrics accurate. first or the music? Both at the same time. Interesting. You have such good questions. Oh, do I? Oh, good. Well, yes. I probably 
I don't know. I just can't really. I'm interested. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, I, could I write. write them both at the same time. And honestly, sometimes when I'm writing a song, I get the lyrics and the music and the choreography and the video concept. They all start coming in at one time. And sometimes there's so many ideas that I'm just trying to write down as many of them as I can when, before they they. Dis- when do the ideas disappear. come to you? Just like at, at random. Any moment. Of Oftentimes course. on the toilet in the bathroom. I was gonna say, have you ever written a song when you were like having sex or something? Abs- <laughs> not having while I was having sex. Because you have some sexy songs. Thank you very awesome. much. Um, but the I, range on this man, he literally wrote a, a parade, uh, the whole tra- song to a parade at Disneyland. Magic happens, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the musical parade. No, 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 <laughs> no. no, yeah, no. Yeah, move over, we, Jason Robert Brown. <laughs> Although we, yeah, we <laughs> Jason Robert Brown, JRB. You don't know uh, this man. <laughs> so stupid. My gosh. He's got when, a beautiful voice. When are you going to go back to Broadway? That's what I want to know. I honestly, oh, that's so nice of you to say. I don't, I, I would love to, but I never, honestly, I mean, um, <laughs> I don't have an agent anymore. I'm not auditioning. I, I can't imagine myself ever auditioning for anything ever again. I hate it so much. It really took me down. Do you see really? this? Yeah. This is not okay. Why? Yeah. Uh, it's just the rejection is just too hard, Tadra. It's, it's so very hard. It's really, really hard. Yeah, and I, own, I almost, also, like, I want to do another podcast where I just ask you questions because <laughs> everybody wants to get this series regular, this sitcom regular, but I think it's really difficult for you to reinvent yourself once you've become so mm. synonymous mm-hmm. as this person that everyone sees you as. But, it's like... And but you're somebody who reinvents themselves all the time. So the yes. fact that you understand that is really beautiful. I like, can only just imagine me. because when I'm seeing you right now, I like want to ask you to say, do you own a lunchbox? Do or you, you care? got a lunchbox? <laughs> do you? Do you? Is it a Louis Vuitton lunchbox? Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> <laughs> a Von Dutch l- lunchbox? Uh, I would, honestly. Mm-hmm. I bet they do. I do have Let's a vintage do. Have Mickey lunchbox. <gasps> I'm sorry, what? I have a vintage Mickey lunchbox. Ooh, can I ask how much is that worth? Well, okay, it's not a vintage. Okay, sorry, that's a lie. It's a it's a recreation of the vintage Mickey lunchboxes, but it's Gucci made it. Um, of it's, course they did. So, yeah. that, I feel like that's Gucci so lied. Raven, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Raven. Like, I, she loves that kind of stuff. You yeah. Know? She really, really does. It's really dope. We have yeah. some rapid fire questions okay. to ask you. Yes. Let's go. It doesn't Let's mean, go. Okay. Oh my gosh, we could have been here forever. I, can't, I know. I really well, can't believe you're quite Mazel Tov on being such a- Do you see why I love him so much? No, I have no idea. <laughs> it's really, it's gone over my head completely. <laughs> like ride or- I Thank you for bringing that. your gift, not only here today, but always. My gosh, you are so talented. Thank I, you. We, I aspire to be you. We're going to work together, and oh, you're we, not going to have to audition. Oh, oh, I almost got a little bit oh my God. sad. Oh. Well, I'm not sad, but happy. Thank you. <laughs> God, I don't know why. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you have to work with people drink. who already drink appreciate alcohol, you, you know? Not an alcohol. <laughs> oh, wow, I guess That's auditions just, no. really affect me. so sad. You just got teary-eyed. You're so talented, and you deserve the world. Thank you, thank you so much. You really are. The world is at your fingertips. I have, I you should definitely, worry. you'll get asked that one, but okay. okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how would your ex describe you? Ooh, depends on the ex. Oh yeah, Leo, Liam, Liam you want to take this one? No, he's, <laughs> he's, not, he's not an ex yet. Ex, my my ex would describe me as um, passionate. Hmm. We've heard that before. Passionate, like passionate, like Both ways. like slice your car, like slice your car, like, or yeah. give you a slice of of cake. Got it. Cake, cake, cake. I'm gonna ask you this. I've never asked anyone because. I don't think they care. Favorite Disney character? Oh. Since uh, you're such a Disney. I would Disney say fan. Halle Bailey's version I, of Little Mermaid. Yes. Today, that's my answer. I love that. I love that. Um, okay, you. Okay. Or, and we can do these two. The way to win me over is. Way to win yourself. The way to win me over is to show up when I'm down. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Don't show up when, for the party. Show up when there's nobody there and the lights are off. That's how you win me over. Guilty pleasure? Oof. Uh, I would say Albanese gummy bears. I know that that's, <laughs> I don't know if that, oh, that's the answer that you were wanting, but I don't really have any guilty pleasures other than I eat Albanese gummy bears. Like, it's my job. I know. I can't even, like, I like gummy so bears. so busy. Like, I can't even think of you, like, in front of, like, the Real Housewives, just, like, no, do you watch reality I love, show? You don't waste time. I love time. Big Brother. That's my favorite oh, yeah, TV yeah, show. Oh, wait, you were on Big, Big Brother. Brother. I was on Big yes, Brother. Yes, yes. And you, and you played the game. I Very played well. the game. Yeah, you and sure I made it to the did. End. Yeah, you like did. I yeah, yeah, knew how to play the game. Yes, yes. Uh, dirty talk, no dirty talk. Uh, it depends. If it's dirty talk, I need it to be creative and feel authentic and organic and not performative. Ooh. Okay. Period. Um... What's, I, I love this one. What's your definition of amazing sex? Oh. My definition of amazing sex is when, uh, I would say when. Right? I know it's hard. <laughs> Why it's did hard. you stutter? 
It's hard to say. I know. I mean, I, well, I just like think the that the, you can't really describe it. It's like that time when it feels like you're dancing in the rain, like when you're just like, like running like free and you don't, you're not feeling like you have to perform or you need mm -hmm. to look hot. Like with, if, I'm not a person that does like a lot of hookups. I'm not a part of Grindr the Musical at <laughs> all. It's not a part of my vocabulary. Please make Grindr the Musical. <laughs> oh my gosh, right though? Yeah, uh, I guess you do. I'm not a part it. of that. So I just think that I I want something that feels real. It feels passionate. Stop this, Christy, do not. <laughs> Stop it. it. <laughs> not that I'm mad at Grindr the Musical. I would love to be a part of, to go support that as a patron of the arts. I will buy tickets to opening night of Grindr the Musical, the tour, Grindr on Ice, whatever. <laughs> whatever it shall be but i'm just i don't like the um it need, it has to feel like passionate right all right i'll ask i'll ask the the, the last question which circumcised is, or uncircumcised wait, that's, that's not, not it, it. That's not that was one of them that's not but, it that's not but it. this is the bittersweet last question because todrick is just such a lovely guest we love you so much oh, and i love you back this has we, been so fun yeah we can't wait to see what you'll do next and where you'll pop up and what country and what amazing thing you'll do and we'll see you in new york on broadway what Good. gives you your big name bitch energy I think um, what gives me my big name bitch energy, the fact that I just live my life every day by the mantra, what would Beyonce do? I think I, I have Beyonce on my yeah. shirt. I have her tattoo right here. Sorry. And on days when I just want to fuck bitches up on the internet, oh. I look at this and I say, you know what? Just go high. Just do the right thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What would Beyonce do? Yeah. She would just keep winning and looking fabulous every day and giving people multiple reasons why she's the baddest bitch and, alive. Yeah.